Hey guys, it's Metagosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our 5-minute review playlist. In previous videos, we talked about cerebral palsy, Barrett's esophagus, neonatal conjunctivitis, nephrotic syndrome, nephritic syndrome, and the difference between them. Today, it's time to talk about chikungunya virus. It's an RNA virus transmitted by a mosquito. It can give you fever, rash, headache, and other symptoms. So click the like button, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. Check my 5-minute review playlist for many doozy videos, including one about the Zika virus. Some words of wisdom. In the Maitri Upanishad, we read a king abandoning his kingdom and going into the forest to practice austerities, clear his mind for understanding and solve the riddle of the universe. After a thousand days of the king's penances, a sage came to him. You are one who knows its true nature, says the king. Do you tell us? Choose other desires, warns the sage. But the king insists. And in a passage that must have seemed Schopenhauerian to Schopenhauer, he voices the revulsion against life, the fear of being reborn, which runs darkly through all Hindu thought. And the sage said, Sir, in this ill-smelling, unsubstantial body, which is a conglomerate of bone, skin, muscle, marrow, flesh, semen, blood, mucus, tears, room, this is where we get the word rheumatology from, but that's a story for another time. Feces, urine, wind, bile, and phlegm. This refers to flatus, if you know what I'm saying. You don't? It's when you break wind backwards. Bile and phlegm. What is the good of enjoyment of desire? In this body, which is afflicted with desire, anger, covetousness, delusion, fear, despondency, envy, separation from the desirable, union with the undesirable, hunger, thirst, senility, got some geriatric actions, death, some necrosis, disease, sorrow, and the like. What is the good of the enjoyment of desire? And we see that this whole world is decaying like these gnats, these mosquitoes, this grass, and these trees that arise and perish. Among other things, there is the drying up of great oceans, the falling away of mountain peaks, the deviation of the fixed pole star, the submergence of the earth, some case and disease action, decompression sickness. If you do not know what I'm referring to, read your book. In this sort of cycle of existence, what is the good of enjoyment of desires, when after a man has fed upon them, there is seen repeatedly his return here to the earth. By the way, Schopenhauer was a pessimistic philosopher, just in case you didn't get the memo. Schopenhauer never trusted his neck to a barber's razor. That's how you protect yourself from hepatitis B and hepatitis C back in the day. The world as will and representation. Even his mother said to him, quote, you are unbearable and bothersome and hard to live with, on which Will Durant comments, quote, He who didn't know a mother's love has no reason to be infatuated with the world. Close quote. Back to freaking medicine. Microbes or infective agents could be bacteria, fungi, viruses, or parasites. That's why the field of microbiology studies, bacteriology, fungology, or mycology, virology, and parasitology. Viruses could be DNA or RNA viruses. DNA viruses usually replicate in the nucleus. RNA viruses replicate in the cytoplasm. But why is that? Well, if you remember the central dogma, you would not be asking this question. Please pause and review. Remember that DNA replicates in the nucleus, and then you transcribe it into RNA in the nucleus. Then RNA will leave the nucleus through the nuclear pores, and before we know it, we are on the outside. DNA viruses, RNA viruses. The central dogma reminds me of the German philosopher Immanuel Kant, the one who said, I can't take it anymore. Quote, I was awakened from my dogmatic slumbers by David Hume. Close quote. I think I need to start a philosophy channel and start philosophizing my gluteus maximus. Unto the universe. Chikungunya virus. Structure. It's an infective agent. No kidding. Is it a bacteria? Virus? 
fungus or parasite, it's a virus. Is it DNA or RNA? It's an RNA virus. What family? Toga viridiae. What kind? Alpha virus. What does that mean? It means positive sense, single-stranded, enveloped, because people who are alpha do not run naked in the street. It's improper and inappropriate. Even Schopenhauer wouldn't do it. Spherical and arbovirus. Arbo, by the way, is an acronym. It literally stands for arthropod born or transmitted virus. Yeah, yeah, any arbovirus has to be transmitted by something. If you did not know this, there is no hope for you. In this case, it's transmitted by the mosquito. Which one? The one dearest to my heart, Aedes aegypti, because I'm Egyptian. Oh, by the way, this is the only place where you will find the word Egypt written starting with a small letter or lower case. So, never say never. Here is the structure of chikungunya virus. There is the lovely RNA here followed by capsid, surrounded by envelope, and the envelope has E proteins, and include E1 and E2. Next, let's talk about the disease. Clinically speaking, signs and symptoms of chikungunya virus infections. Fever, high grade, headache, arthritis. It's inflammatory, it is polyarticular, acute in the beginning, itis, itis, acute inflammation, pay attention. Redness, hotness, swelling, pain, loss of function. Ruber, calor, tumor, dollar, functional, let's say. Then it can become chronic. Maculopapular rash. It has macules and papules. Macules are more common. These are flat. These are raised. Lymphadenopathy all over the place. Myalgia. Intense muscle pain and joint pain, hands and feet, knees and back. Less commonly, leukopenia can happen, petechiae at the palate. I'll be so proud of you if you can enumerate three or four organisms that can cause palatal petechiae in a patient. Comment below. Epistaxis, hemorrhage, mental changes. Chikungunya viruses is more common in the Caribbean, Central and South America, South Central Asia and Southeast Asia. Diagnosis, reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. Prophylaxis, mosquito control, such as using mosquito repellents. Do we have a vaccine for it? No. Management, do we have a specific antivirus for it? Nope. Manage it symptomatically. Supportive care. Take care of the fever. Take care of the joint pain. Take care of the blood loss if it happens. Let's talk about my favorite mosquito ever. It's a daytime biter, not at night. Did you know that, Cody? This stinking mosquito can transmit dengue virus causing dengue fever, chikungunya virus causing chikungunya fever, and yellow fever virus, which causes yellow fever. What have I done with my life? Let's listen to what Will Durant said about ancient Egypt. Quote, as the swine trod in the sea, so apes were tamed and taught to pluck fruit from the trees. And the same Nile that irrigated the fields deposited upon them in its inundation thousands of fish in shallow pools. Even the same net with which the peasant fished during the day was used around his head at night as a double protection against mosquitoes. This did not protect him against Aedes aegypti, I can tell you that, because Aedes aegypti will bite you at daytime, not at night. Think like a clinician, not like a doofus with a stethoscope. The patient says, quote, Doc, I was bitten by Aedes aegypti mosquito. What kind of patient says that? One of three. One, a freaking entomologist. Two, a parasitologist. Three, just a well-read person. And this happened in Central America. And right now, I have fever, headache, and macular rash. Pay attention. If this patient also has thrombocytopenia, symptoms of hemorrhage, and shock or circulatory collapse, this is dengue. But if you found chronic polyarthritis, inflammation, and pain after the fever resolved, think chikungunya. Why don't they teach like this in medical school? If you want to learn more about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications, download my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. To learn more about circulatory collapse and different types of shock, download my emergency medicine high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website 
website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense.